Hola amigos, Ghost here and today we're continuing our Let's Play of Ghost of Tsushima. And today we're doing the last Warrior Monk mission with Norio, who is the last Norio Monk. Uh, also, I just want to say this is narration instead of like live dialogue of me speaking. And I'll tell you that or the reason why in a little bit. Lord Sakai, Norio, where are the monks from your temple? Hochi and his followers came down from Cedar Temple to train healers in the village. Mongols kidnapped them. They took nothing else? Hochi went peacefully, so they spared the village. Slaughter those who resist, reward submission. Cotton's favorite tactic. He should not have gone along with them. He gave himself up for the village. The Mongols will be back. All he did was delay the end. Then it's a good thing you and I are here. The Last Warrior Monk. Any idea where they went? They rode out past the tea fields. Let's pick up their trail. We can't let them harm the monks. The Mongols will keep them alive for their medical skills. I'm sure of nothing when it comes to the invaders. They came this way, past the tea fields. Look for tracks. So the reason why um, this is narration instead of live dialogue is because for some reason, when I recorded this video and the next video, for some reason it did not pick up my dialogue. It only picked up the game's dialogue. Tracks. So I had to um, improvise with this uh, uh, post-recording. And yeah, it, it's pretty interesting t <laughs> to do this, I guess. Or the swamp. Come. It sounds like you and Hochi have a history. Hochi always complained that my brother was too eager to fight. What kind of monk is Hochi? There were people with a terrible illness in Sago. Rotted their faces and limbs. Everyone avoided them except Hochi. He lived among them, treated their wounds. Bravery takes many forms. Hochi thinks warrior monks are driven by anger and hate. But when I swing my Nagina, I sacrifice the few to save the many. And I do it without hatred. There they are. Stay here, Norio. I don't want the monks to get caught in the middle. But yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting to do this narration stuff. I probably won't do it after this video and the next one I have to narrate because of the error that happened. But yeah, uh, I was supposed to try to do this stealthily. I kill this guy and then I tried to use that uh, hook thing to uh, go across by fuck the jump up. Fuck the jump up. Fuck the jump up. And they spot me, and I have to go into open arms combat, which wasn't difficult, to be honest. It was just more I got kind of fucking messed up by a spear guy, because after learning the combat, the only enemies that were really my enemies were the spear guys, because that, for a while I couldn't really parry them until I upgraded my uh, combat skills properly. And even then, it took me a while before I could actually pull it off properly. But yeah, it was easy. I end this dude suffering, and I speak to this guy. You're going to be all right. Are you the samurai who rose from the dead? Is Hochi with you? Hochi? No. But one of us broke loose. The invaders chased after him. They'll be back any moment. Road Sakai! Mongols up the road! No. And then Mongol reinforcements come, and I have to you try to kill them with Norio. And I was able to kill one with a bow and injure another by making them fall over. But after that, I had to deal with spear guys. Luckily, I was able to do a perfect parry, kill one, and then damage the crap out of this uh, big guy, or brute, I mean. And then I do some kunai damage to them, slice him up, and then kill, uh, go for the final guy. 
which was easy as heck. And with that, all the enemies were killed, and all we had to do was go talk to the monks that went to hide. Though I had to wait for the monk to get into the right position to actually speak with him. Apparently, I was blocking his path for a second, and yeah. Is anyone hurt? We're all right, my lord. Where is Hochi? A different group took him. Norio. They knew Hochi's name, and they mentioned Sira Temple. Lord Sakai. Why would they separate Hochi from the rest? He's the most skilled healer. They might have plans for him. He also likes to argue. You think he angered them? Knowing Hochi? Yes. Don't jump to conclusions. First, we need to track him down. Give me time to figure out where the Mongols took him. I'll meet you at Akashima village. We'll find him, Norio. And with that, the mission is over. The last warrior monk has been completed. And it was a pretty fun mission, to be honest. It was short, but fun. Our legend increased. And we got a charm of, I think, precision? No, resistance. We got a resistance to charm. And then the next mission available is three actions, three illusions, which is the second mission for uh, Norio. And this is what we're going to do now for the second clip of this uh, episode. So, yeah. We've all been worried about Hochi. They need a break. Such moments are rare these days. I used to be like them. I'm not the same man I was the night before Komoda. How bad was it? Komoda? Bad. We lost everyone. The beach was soaked with so much blood, it was like... paste. Be grateful you didn't see it. We rode south all day, into the night. A bad storm slowed us to a crawl. Stopped at a farm to sleep a few hours. I woke to screams. The main house on fire. Mongol raiders. They took us to Canada in chains. After that... I wish I had died fighting. I think I know where they took Hochi. You want to go now? Yes. Where are we headed? A camp on the coast. Mongol ships stopped there for supplies and prisoners on the way north. If they put him out to sea, we'll lose him. Lord Sakai, when this is all over, what will you do? I hope one day I can return home, find a way to rebuild. I wish I still felt that way about my temple. Most of my life, the course was clear. Follow the Eightfold Path, raise a family, serve Sita Temple. You can still do those things. I joined the temple because of my brother. And I always imagined my children and Enjo's children growing up together. Our wives. The Mongols haven't taken everything, Norio. One day they'll be gone. And you'll still have a life to lead. But I don't feel it's mine alone. I have to live for Enjo and the other monks who die. Do you ever feel that way about the samurai of Komoda? Like you owe them a debt. Sometimes, like my life has to count for a hundred samurai. But that doesn't feel possible. Maybe that's the point. Life before the invasion feels like it happened to someone else. Or like childhood. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll look back on this moment the same way. Lord Sakai, I told you Hochi strongly opposes violence, right? You said he disagreed with the warrior monk. We're getting close to the camp.
So we make it to the outskirts of the camp. A Mongol uh, uh, watcher spots us, but I was able to quickly dispatch him and kill him before he could alert the guards. And then we use uh, this house that overlooks the camp to uh, survey the uh, camp itself for weaknesses and stuff. The Mongols are holding someone there. Hoji has to be. If I go alone, I can reach him without the Mongols knowing. Mongol signal cannon. I could set it off. Draw their attention while I get Hochi out. After I find Hochi, we'll meet. Don't wait for me if I'm late. Get Hochi back to the village. I can handle myself. I'll meet you both back in Akashima village. Set off the signal cannon. I'll get Hochi. Take refuge in Amida Buddha, my lord. And now we actually attempt to rescue. Uh, his friend slash fellow monk. Now, there's actually two attempts of this uh, uh stealth. This first attempt here, I fucked up by going this direction. I kind of put myself in a rock and a hard place because there were several areas that if I went in the open, I would have been immediately spotted. And so I immediately uh, tried to backtrack, but at that same time, guards walked that way. And I tried to hide, but one of them was suspicious enough where they were able to spot me. And I was I realized at that point it was going to be much harder to fight my way through all the enemies because the entire camp was alerted just to me, not Norio. So I was just I was just going to let them kill me, even though honestly I would have killed all five of them there easily. It's just that there was more Mongols on the way, as like I think five plus more were showing up from where Norio would have been at. And I just like I didn't want to go through the hassle of doing that, so I went. So I just let myself get killed, and I redo the stealth. This time, going this direction instead, and I was able to easily get to his friend with only, having to kill only a couple of Mongols. And you see those two scouts run over that direction, and that kind of fucked me up the last time. But this time, I go over here, shank this guy in the neck. And then I believe I killed the soldier that's uh, on the watchtower with a bow, with my bow. Uh, any second now. Any second. Come on, come on, past me. Yep, there we go. And I kill him with a bow. And then I slowly walk up towards them. These two that are guarding here kill the first one. I accidentally almost alert the first, the second Mongol. Luckily, he doesn't spot me, and his awareness goes down incredibly, so I would have enough time to kill him. Not alerting the guards. At that point, Norio's distraction happens. And I go kill this Mongol. Bam. And I speak with uh, his friend, slash fellow monk. What's happening? Who are you? Need to go. I can't leave. The Mongols are returning me to see the temple. The people there need healers badly. There's no time for this. I'm sorry, but I must remain here. Jin, Hochi, Norio, what are you doing here? The alarms are a raiding party nearby. They're almost on us. Uh, damn it! Stay back, Hochi. We won't let them near you. Norio, ready your blade. And at this point, Mongol reinforcements show up, so uh, me and Norio had to deal with them. I was able to, I think, kill slash injure several of the Mongols with my bow and arrow before they get close enough to actually hit me. Uh, the first bow, uh, the first arrow misses. The second one deals some damage. It doesn't kill them until I put some fire on them. Then I launch several fire arrows at several other Mongols, which uh does some great damage and then I use my long bow to do some good damage to uh, the brute and then kill him and then I use a smoke bomb and initiate a, a three chain assassination attack which still looks beautiful to do and with that all the Mongols are defeated and we re-speak with uh, the fellow monk everyone is gone it's just me now I'm sorry. I wish we could end this bloodshed. The Mongols were searching for me. 
I gave myself up to save lives. How did they know where to find you? They knew I was an Akashima. And they wanted to return me to see the temple. They need a healer. You were willing to treat the enemy's wounded? Mongol or Japanese, we all suffer. Some deserve it. But this means... Has Cedar Temple fallen? I don't know. Norio, take Kochi back to the village before reinforcements arrive. They will seek revenge. I'll meet you there to plan a defense. And with that, we have completed the second mission of today's episode, Three Actions, Three Illusions. It was a pretty fun episode even though I effed up the stealth. And the next mission we do is the Ghosts in the Fog. Or Ghost in the Fog. We get some legend increase, and we get a charm of vitality, which I forgot what it actually does. But yeah, the next mission is, yeah, it is actually is the Ghosts in the Fog, which would have been the original title for this episode, but the last warrior monk beat it. But yeah. And now we initiate that uh, mission. What's the problem? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Canada. Evacuate and the Mongols will hunt you down. Not one of you will live to see Canada's walls. But we won't have blood on our hands. Go tell the village your plan for them, Hochi. I'd like to see that. <sighs> Norio. I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First you follow Enjo around, now Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? Wash my brother's name from your mouth. Enough! Norio and I will do the fighting. Everyone else can go hide. I refuse to hide. I don't take lives. But I am not a coward. Ghosts in the fog. I'll scout the village. See what defensive preparations we can make quickly. Gather everyone to you. Ready them to take shelter. One of these rooftops should work. So yeah, we go up to uh, that house up there and survey the f uh, village everyone. to figure out a plan of attack. Clearly. Here, perfect. No walls. Mongols can strike from any direction. If we flee into the swamp, people will get lost, separated. Easy prey. A temple. People could hide there. Incense burners. Add black powder to the incense. Get the smoke nice and dense. Enough to use as cover. Norio and Hochi lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. They'll blame me, not the villagers. My lord, we've gathered everyone. Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. Everyone! Mongols are on the way. Follow me to the temple. The invaders will face the rats. So, as we uh, set up the uh, ambush for the Mongols, we uh, fill all those things to use them for like X as explosives slash smoke screens as you'll see in a minute but yeah there's like five of them in total I think we do or six and the funny thing is I only end up using I think three slash four of them in total and there wasn't as many mongols as I thought there would be granted this is a side mission but still but it was still a very fun mission as because once the actual stealth part begins, a lot of the village is covered in smoke, and it's actually pretty amazing. But, yeah, this is the last one, and then we go um, to an area to hide until the Mongols show up. As we uh, do now. And, I th uh, 
I do decent at the stealth at first, and then I kind of fuck up. But it it was bound to happen as I didn't. Re some reason my br I had a brain fart and did not remember where the mon uh, where the uh, things were, or at least all of them were at. So yeah, I just fire there. Those three Mongols burn to death and provide some smoke, and then I use this. Uh, angle to um shoot the next area group boom kills those three mongols I'm almost spotted so I rush inside this building to figure out a plan of um getting past these go mongols to the next area but sadly I wasn't able to figure out one so I end up going this the same direction I went a second ago and nearly get myself spotted and I climb up past that and then I try to uh, go past the Mongols there and use that type rope to get to that building uh, which then I could launch an attack against more Mongols because I th remembered that there was one of the things right there but when I fired at it uh, there was not a single Mongol near it and I thought it would spread farther than it did but at that point I got spotted and I did the stupidest thing I could have and jumped completely off the building, killing myself. Luckily, I had up the, I got the upgrade where I can revive myself with three resolve, and I had to waste all my resolve just to bring me back to fighting condition. And at that point, I just started fighting the Mongols, actually. Luckily, there was a lot more smoke, and it allowed me to um, sneak up against some of the Mongols and stuff easier. And I was able to kill a bunch of them. And then there was only one group left, and I remembered that there was one of those uh, things I could use to kill them. But when I fired at it, it did not ex burn them to death, it only just provided smoke. Which was a little annoying, but it did give me enough cover to kill this brute with no problems. And then I was able to uh, injure the crap out of the swordsman before I was able to just kill him with a parry. And then I had to deal with this guy right here. Which was uh, a little annoying at first until I changed my stance and then was able to kill the crap out of them. And with that, we rush back to the monks and Nori to make sure that they are alive, clearly. But once we get there, uh, the Nori is fighting against uh, like a do half a dozen mo uh, Mongols, so that means I have to go help them. And during the fighting, someone that we had just rescued in the last mission tragically dies. And it's not much of a spoiler because that happens in less than a minute after about a minute from this combat. Uh, but yeah, uh, I was having some trouble with this general at first. But then I was slowly starting to break his guard and bam, I was able to finally kill him. And I changed my stance to uh, the moon to, so that I can um, break, basically fuck up the brute easily. And then I started damaging uh, him, but Nori killed him. And then we rushed over to see if um, forgot the side other side character's name uh, if he survived, which tragically he did not. What happened, Norio? I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Ochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. You're both braver than many samurai I've known. I didn't know he was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault. Norio? Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Norio, you don't have to... Yes, I do.
they gave up on me and took Angel. They took my brother. Everyone who rode south from sea to temple. All gone. Except me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. I thought the same thing after Komodo. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. The people of Akashima are alive because of you. Don't forget that. Because they won't. And with that, the uh, Ghosts in the Fog has been completed. We get some Legend Increase and we get some Charms. Uh, don't know what Charms exactly until it pops up on the screen. Give me a second. Uh, the Charm of Unyielding. And a Charm uh, of a Fighter's Headband. And we get some Silk. But it was a very good mission. It was really fun. Uh, I enjoyed it entirely. Sorry for the narration. This time around, it will only happen for this uh, episode and the next one after this. But after that, it goes back to the regular scheduled program. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed. I certainly did when I played this. It was tragic how the character side character dies defending his uh, friend Nori. But yeah, until next time, this is Ghost signing out.